Hey everybody, Crypto Mentor 99. How you doing? It is Sunday evening, 5.15 Central Standard Time. And the futures market, well first of all, let me back up. Trump announced this evening that Jerome Powell of the Federal Reserve, he's the Federal Reserve Chairman, is slashing rates to zero. Trump said in a press conference that it was a surprise announcement. The press conference is going on now. But Trump opened up and said, hey, but just been handed a sheet of paper. Jerome Powell just slashed rates to zero. And it would continue to use a full range of tools to battle the economic downturn of the market, which is being brought on. Not everybody would agree with this, but by the coronavirus. And more quantitative easing in the form of, I, I can't even put my head around some of these numbers, $700 billion of asset purchases. I remember as a little boy, I'd get a dime allowance from my dad, sometimes 20 cents a week, I feel 700 billion. So Sunday evening, I always follow, and I do mean always, follow the futures market on marketwatch.com, M-A-R-K-E-T-W-A-T-C-H.com, marketwatch.com. And the same thing is happening now that happened earlier this week when Trump made an announcement. Futures are down, Dow futures. Again, it's a Sunday evening. The market doesn't open until tomorrow morning. But the futures market down 3.5%, about 800 points. And of course, gold is spiking because in the announcement, um, I'll put the link below to this article on Market Watch about the Jerome Powell um, news cutting rates to zero. But Trump was thrilled about it. He wants to get rates more in line with the rest of the world. Again, I'm not an economist way above my pay grade. I'm just a little guy in my house doing YouTube videos. Anyhow, I've got more videos to do, but yeah, mar market forces are now at zero as far as interest rates. And uh, don't forget to wash your hands. Love y'all. Bye-bye.